What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another bar review. Today we're gonna to look at the new release by Storm, the Phase AI. And uh, before we get into this, let me throw some shots and uh, let's see what we got out there. Today I'm here uh, early in the morning on the Fresh House shot. Uh, this ball does feature the TX-16 cover that was on the, the Journey. So it is a weaker type of cover. So we're gonna see how it, uh, it cuts through the Fresh House shot today. All right, so I'm gonna start a little bit more to the right like normal, cause this is, a, even though it's a stronger core, we'll get into that in just a second, uh, it is a weaker cover and it is out of box finish. So you can see this ball is, is with the cover and the new uh, Power Edge polish. It is a lot cleaner in the front uh, compared to where the Journey was. The Journey, I took the React gloss off of it, so it did hook a little bit more uh, than when I'm seeing this ball. But this, like I said, the core numbers in this ball are right here. As you see with the AI, it did, did raise the differential uh, compared to what, what the regular Phase 2. And during this video, I'm going to compare it to the, the Optimum Idol Pearl. Uh, those have a similar core numbers. Now that cover is the Microtrax Pearl, so it is a lot stronger than this TX-16 Pearl. So we're just gonna um, keep on throwing them some shots and uh, see how it works. Now I know everybody's out there excited about this ball because it is another phase, but for right now, my initial view of it, I'm not sure if I really like it a lot. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna use it. And that is exactly why. The, it's just, for me, this just seems like the, the cover and the core is not really matching up to the shape that I want to get out of it. Now the layout I put on it is five by four and a half by three VLS layout. And the ball that I'm comparing to the Optimum Idol Pearl uh, is very similar layout. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be five by four and three quarters by three and three quarters VLS layout. So it is more like a, a, a pin down for me for my rev rate and my axis rotation where the, the Phase AI, I just I moved the pin buffer a little bit shorter uh, just to get the ball to see if I can make it snap a little bit more because uh, if you're going to see with the Alamito Pearl, it is really delayed, it's really slow. So I want to kind of have a ball that has the same, not shape, but the same length, but be a little bit quicker in the back end. But as we're seeing on this house shot today, uh, that's not the case. Now, I've had it for about a week or so. We had a hurricane, so I really didn't have time to practice. Uh, so let's see how this shot works. So I got a little bit farther to the right, but you can see the, the ball just really isn't very quick. It is very slow for me. Uh, it's almost as slow as Optimido Pearl. So that's not really what I was looking for in this ball when, we get, when they decided to release it. I was looking for a ball that's probably similar to the Phase 5, but that cover with the R2S Pearl was a lot cleaner. And, you know, because that, that cover is a lot weaker than this TX-16 Pearl. But that Phase 5 is some ball I really used a lot. It was very versatile for me. And I was looking for a ball that replaced that one. Now, I don't know with this layout, maybe I just made it a little too slow for my rev rate and the way I throw it, or maybe just this house shot today might be just, so it has been a little drier. They were closed for five days, so. So that one, I came more, a little bit more around it, and you can see it fed down the lane and actually uh, had a little bit of back end motion that I like to see. It's not as quick as I expected, but from what the AI cores that they've been coming out with this year, uh, a lot of the balls aren't very fast for me for my rev rate and the way I throw it. They are a little bit earlier, a little bit slower, and I've been trying different drillings to get where they they will snap a little bit harder on the back end, but I haven't really figured out what layout that is. I uh, know shot I'm gonna play a little bit straighter and kind of more end over end roll and see if it actually moves. Yeah, you see, not getting down the lane as far as I'd like. It's really burning up and it's going really forward. I'm um, a ball reaction that I'm really, really looking forward to in a Pearl, especially since most of these balls, they are, they're kind of overlapping with the cores. They're all the same kind of core numbers and they're just basically different covers and different shapes of the cores where the, the Sublime Focus, so I was worried about that one because it has a bigger core, but I like the reaction of that ball a lot compared to the original Sublime. All right, so now I'm gonna throw a couple shots with the Optimino Pearl and see if we can see a real difference today. With it, with this stronger cover, it sh hopefully it won't be as slow as what, what's going on with that Phase AI, but we will see. And you can see, there's just 
whatever they've done here since after the hurricane, the, the, the lanes have been a little bit drier, so uh, I don't know what to do with these balls while I'm here. They're not very, uh, not showcasing a good video for you guys to see all the strikes and everything. We're seeing bad ball reaction right now. All right, let's see, I'll move left with this one, really come around it, see if I can get it to shape. And there we go, so there it is. I had to move even deeper now, go slower, really come around it to get the ball shape. So let me switch back to the phase AI in there and see if I can get the ball to shape the right way. All right, same, try to throw the same shot as I did with the uh, Optimidal Pearl and see if this one is a little bit sharper or it's slower than the Optimidal Pearl. And there you go. See, that's the problem we have in Florida. There is not a lot of oil in the front of the lane. Uh, these balls are making them stronger and stronger uh, with the cores that are stronger with the AI on it. And now you can see that I have to move really farther left than I want to, even on a fresh out shot that I'm on this morning. So this is what gets me into where I don't want to, I want to play the lanes a lot straighter, but these balls are kind of pushing me and farther left than I already want to be. All right, so the, the move is left. So let's move more left. I'm going to come around even more. Go slow, though. So there it is. So uh, as you see, the way that the shot is designed, it wasn't like this. Uh, before the hurricane, I was able to throw a lot of the balls, um, the stronger ones as well, and I had better ball reaction. You can see with these stronger symmetrical balls, I'm a lot far deeper than I want to be to really use this ball, especially on a fresh house shot. Basically, when you build your arsenal, you want to build it around your strengths and how you throw the ball. And right now, as you can see, I did, coming around it as much as I am, that's not what I really want to do. Uh, when I'm making this video, like maybe if I'm bowling on a longer pattern, I'll have to do that more because the, the oil is a lot longer and it's a lot thinner. But on these house shots, you should have a lot of oil in the, in the middle, so it should build up, so my ball should skid farther, but it doesn't seem like it is today. Ooh, that's a bad one, see? I can see this is not my A game. I don't want to go slow, come around it, try to make the ball hook. I want to roll it the way I want to roll it. And unfortunately, these two balls uh, with the, the, the core numbers and the way they are, they, it doesn't allow me to do that. Now, I'm just not saying that this is a bad ball or both of them are bad or you shouldn't go out and get one. Just for me, the way I throw it and my rev rate, uh, for what's out there right now, I'd probably throw the subline focus or maybe a summit ascent if I was going to throw a strong symmetrical ball rather than these pearl covers. Uh, they use ice oil here, so that could be the problem too. Even though it's a lower volume, the ice oil is making my ball skid a little bit quick farther than I'd like to now that I know how far left I am. All right, let's try to throw a good one. Yeah, it's just not... You can see the, even though I'm throwing it left to right, I've come around it, the ball's just really slow. It's not really skidding and snapping the way you'd like to see from a, a symmetrical pearl, I think. I mean, right now, I, I mean, I'd probably rather throw a, a Vibo or an Attention Star for uh, the volume of oil that's out there right now. Or just throw it like that. You can see even with throwing it two-handed, the ball is very slow, very round. It's not really doing the, the skid snapping that would, when I threw the phase five with the R2S Pro Cover, it was very long and very continuous. This ball seems to want to be earlier and just really, really slow and really round. And the same thing with the Idle Pearl, uh, Optum Idle Pearl, it's round and slow. But with that pin buffer, it, it delays a lot longer. I used it, I kind of drill it for maybe short patterns where it is phase AI, just drill the regular they use in league and looks like that's not happening. Let me throw the Optimidal Pearl a couple more times just so you can see the difference because that's what this video is all about, comparing these two balls since the numbers are very similar in cores even though the covers are different. There you go. See, it's very long, very delayed, and even though I want it to be sharper, it's really round. It's, it's, it has a little bit of angular to it, 
in the shape, designing the ball, but it's not as angular as I want. I want it to be quicker, I want it to go more sideways, but it's not doing that. All right, let me throw the Optimato straighter, since it has the longer pin buffer, that's what it's designed, I, I laid it out for, to go a lot straighter with it. And there you go, even though I went straighter, it's just very slow. There's just not enough oil on lanes for that bowling ball. All right, I'm gonna throw the Phase AI a couple more times, and I'm sure not really showcasing how good this ball might be, because a lot of people are having success with it, but obviously for me, and the environment that I'm throwing it in right now, it's really not rolling the way I would like it to. All right, let's, let's really come around it, let's see if I can get the shape. Yeah, see, I gotta go very, very slow. And I gotta make sure I come really around it. And you still, it's not pushing down the lane and going sideways, it's really just really round. But if I threw it two-handed, I wonder what that would do. We had a solid nine earlier. <laughs> and it's a lot quicker, even though my speed isn't very fast. All right, one more shot and I'll wrap this up and this will be my video on the, the Phase AI. All right, let's see, throw a normal shot the way I want to throw it, see if it'll actually hook. And there you go. Yeah, you see, I gotta go very slow, really come around it, and it still doesn't skid snap as hard as I'd like it to. All right, guys, that's my video on the new release by Storm, the Phase AI. Uh, was in your low pro shops on October 18th. Make sure you do the thing, hit that like, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications so you know my content hits on the internet, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.